It's one of many events that will draw fans to downtown Salt Lake this weekend. The city is expecting to accommodate more than 100,000 guests over the next several days. Mike Hedrick is not far from there on the plaza at Vivint Arena. He's anchoring our All-Star Access team coverage tonight. Mike, what an exciting weekend for our state. Yeah, it really is, Deanie, and over the next few days here, the NBA is putting on quite the show for the entire community here. But they're also making some lasting investments here for a lot of the youth in the community. South Salt Lake specifically at Lincoln Elementary School. As new specialist Jed Bull shows us, they received some NBA upgrades for education and for play. Well, at first I thought they were making a mistake. I was like, Lincoln? A little Lincoln Elementary School, isn't it? Granny School District, you sure? When so principal you know, Milton Collins first heard what the NBA had planned for his school, he couldn't believe it. Jason Collins, a retired player and current NBA Cares ambassador, says the All-Star Game is more than just a game. It's about giving back and so that when the game, the All-Star Game, you know, goes away, we leave behind something that is the, for the entire uh, Utah community. Students gathered in the gym as Utah Jazz players, past and present, joined the NBA leaders to dedicate a new NBA Cares Learn and Play Center. I'm excited for the new uh, STEM lab and our new gym so we can do a lot of fun things. They unveiled a newly renovated STEM education lab with new technology to stretch the limits of learning. The gymnasium also got a facelift, including new basketball hoops, better lighting, and an updated floor. Having this new gym is really exciting. Fifth grader Saeed Miri addressed the crowd. He was born in Afghanistan and fled with his family three years ago. Saeed says the upgrades make the students feel special. It means a lot to me, like it's really cool and it's good. I'm happy to have it. There's a lot of diversity in the student body here at Lincoln Elementary. 23 different languages spoken here. The principal tells me that this investment will go a long way for these students. For any new student coming in to walk into this gym and to walk into this STEM lab, you're going to feel like you're in out of space somewhere because of the upgrades because it's just just so amazing. Utah jazz man Colin Sexton urged the students to believe in themselves. I remember being that that kid that had dreams and aspirations and how people along the line told me I wouldn't be able to amount to those dreams and uh, just being able to be here tonight and I mean today and show them that if I did it, I know you can do it. They're gonna see that we were here and they're going to be able to have fun here. They're going to be able to have dances and competitions on this beautiful new floor and then also, you know, compete with the new technology uh, across the way in that, in that STEM lab. Each time the students use the facilities, they can remember this day. For KSL 5 News, I'm Jed Bowl. Jed, thank you. So cool to see what they're doing for those kids. I love it. All right, so 